today's lesson is going to be on exponent laws. And the first exponent law that you need to be familiar with is known as the multiplication rule. And the multiplication rule says that if you have a base that is raised to a power multiplied by that same base raised to a different power, you can simplify that by writing down your common base, in this case our base is a, and you add your two exponents. And it's, ver it's very important is that in this law, we can only do this when we have the same base. So let's look at another way of writing that because when you only have variables, it can be a little bit abstract. So let's say we have two to the second power multiplied by 2 to the third power. What this law says is that that is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 plus 3, or 2 to the power of 5. And this intuitively makes sense if you actually look at what we are saying by this um, little expression over here. So 2 squared is the same thing as 2 times 2, multiplied by 2 to the third power, which as we know is 2 times 2 times 2. And if we look at this, that's basically 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we have 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th power. That is the same thing that we got here. So this actually makes sense when you think about it. Um, we can give one more example, maybe in terms that you are more likely to see. Let's say we have x squared multiplied by x cubed. What this law says is that that is the same thing as x to the power of 2 plus 3 or x to the fifth power. And again, the same logic applies. x squared is basically x times x multiplied by x cubed, which is x times x times x. This is the same thing as x to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th power. And that is your multiplication rule. And what's very important to remember with the multiplication rule is that this rule only applies when we have a common base. So we can see in our first example, our common base was a. We had a to raised to an exponent multiplied by that same base, a raised to a different exponent. Um, here, our common base was 2. Here, our common base was x. So this rule would not hold if, for example, we had a raised to an exponent multiplied by b raised to a different exponent, or if we had 2 raised to the second power multiplied by 5 raised to the third power, then this wouldn't hold. So this rule only works when we have a common base that is raised to two different exponents and we're multiplying them together, then we can use this rule. And now our second law is known as the division rule. And what this law states is that if we have a common base that's raised to an exponent and we are dividing it by the same base raised to a different exponent, we can simplify that by writing down our common base and subtracting our exponents. So if we put this in terms of actual numbers, we can say 2 raised to the second power divided by 2 raised to the first power is the same thing as 2, which is our common base, to the power of 2 minus 1, or 2 to the power of 1. And again, if we actually think about what this expression is saying, it's saying that 2 to the second power divided by 2 to the first power, which is just 2, is the same thing as, well, let's look at how we can simplify this. So we have a 2 at the top, we have a 2 at the bottom, and we know that when we have common terms at the top and bottom of a fraction, and we're multiplying everything together, we can cross out those common terms. 
that leaves us with just two, which is the same thing as two to the power of one. So again, this is known as the division rule. And like the multiplication rule, it's very important to note that with the division rule, this rule is only going to hold when we have a common base. So when we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, this would not work if we had a to the power of m divided by b to the power of n, or if we had 2 to the second power divided by 3 to the first power. Now the third exponent law that I want to go over, if we have our base a that's raised to power, and that whole thing is going to be raised to another power, what this law states is that we can write down our common base and we can multiply our exponents. So putting this into numbers, we can use our same base 2 that we've been using. And let's say we had 2 to the third power, all raised to the second power. This law says that that is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 times 2, which is 2 to the power of 6. In this case, when we have a bracket, when we're raising a power to another power, we can multiply our exponents. The fourth exponent law that I want to discuss is if we have a multiplied by b all to the power of n, that is essentially the same thing as a to the m multiplied by b to the m. So if we have two different bases, all to the power of an exponent, we are essentially going to distribute that exponent to each of the terms in the brackets. Um, so we can put this in terms of actual numbers and maybe it'll make some more sense that way. So let's say we have 3 times 2 all to the power of 4. And what this law says is that that is the same thing as 3 to the 4 multiplied by 2 to the 4. And that makes sense because let's just write out this part of our equation in actual terms. 3 to the 4 is 3 times 3 times 3. So we're saying that is multiplied by 2 to the 4, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And if we look at that, what this is saying is that we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Another way of writing this whole thing is 3 times 2 times, so 3 times 2, we've got our 1 3 times 2, and multiply that by 3 times 2 again, multiply that by 3 times 2 again, multiply that by 3 times 2 one more time, and so this is the same thing as 3 times 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, which is what we have right here. So when we have two different bases all to the power of one exponent, we can distribute that exponent to each of our terms inside the brackets. Now the last exponent law that I want to talk about today is when we take a fraction and raise it all to the power of an exponent. And this law states that what we can do here is again distribute our exponent to each of the terms in our bracket so we have a to the m divided by b to the m. And in terms of actual numbers, let's say we have 2 thirds all raised to 
to the second power. This law says that that is the same thing as 2 to the second power divided by 3 to the second power. So let's look at this a little bit more conceptually. So 2 thirds to the second power is the same thing as having 2 thirds multiplied by 2 thirds. Here we have 2 thirds to the power of 1, 2. So we know that when we have a fraction and we're multiplying fractions, we multiply the top and multiply the bottom. So that is the same thing as 2 times 2 divided by 3 times 3. And another way of writing this is 2 to the second power divided by 3 to the second power, which is exactly the same as what we've got here. And one more thing that I do want to go over before the end of this video is that if we have anything raised to the power of 0, that is going to be equal to 1. One more thing that I want you guys to remember is that if we have a fraction and the denominator is raised to an exponent, we can write this fraction out as our denominator raised to the inverse of that exponent. And when I say inverse, I mean if this exponent is positive, the inverse of that would be negative. So if we're writing this, which is a denominator, as a numerator, then we need to take the inverse of the exponent. So because this is positive, then we're going to write that as a to the power of negative m. And if we had the opposite, let's say we had 1 over a to the negative m, then if we wanted to write that with our denominator as a numerator, then we would write a to the power of m. And that's because we're taking now the inverse, so we're inverting this. This is negative, so it's going to become positive. So if we had that in terms of actual numbers, we could write that like... Let's say we had 1 half, and the 2 is to the third power. That is the same thing as 2 to the power of negative 3. Um, whereas, let's say we had two, 1 over 2 to the power of negative 3, that would be the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I just wanted to give a summary of all of the laws we went over today. So the first is going to be the multiplication rule, and the multiplication rule is when we have a base raised to an exponent multiplied by that same base raised to a different exponent, we are going to write down our base and we add our exponents. And again, this is going to only hold if we have a common base. Um, then we have the division rule, and the division rule, again, is also going to only hold when we have a common base, and that is when we have our base uh, raised to a power divided by that same base raised to a different power. We write down our base and we subtract our exponents. Then we have the power of a power rule and that is if we have a base raised to an exponent which is all raised to another exponent, so we have an exponent raised to an exponent, then we write down our base and we multiply our exponents. Then we have um, the rule where if we have two bases that are all raised to one exponent, that is going to be the same thing as essentially distributing our exponent to all of the terms in the brackets. So we are going to have our first base multiplied by the uh, to, sorry our first base raised to the exponent multiplied by our second base also raised to the exponent. We're going to have the rule where if we have a fraction that is going to be raised to an exponent, that is going to be the same thing as our numerator raised to the exponent divided by our denominator raised to the exponent. Then we have our universal rule that anything raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And also the rule where if we have a denominator that is raised to an exponent, that's going to be the same thing as that base raised to the negative of the exponent. So if we have 1 over 2 to the negative third power, basically whenever something is at the bottom, 
we're going to take the inverse of whatever the exponent is. So because this is negative, the inverse of that is going to be positive. So that means it's 2 to the 3. Or in this case, if we have the 2 at the bottom, we're going to take the inverse of whatever it's raised to. So that's going to be 2 raised to negative 3 because this is a positive inverse of that is negative. So 2 to the negative 3. So that is the summary of all of our exponent laws and some important tricks to remember.